Hi everyone, how you all doing? Welcome back to Crazy Bake. Today we're going to be doing marshmallow brownies. I've got the tripod and everything set up. So um, I'll get you guys set up on the tripod, get my hands washed and we'll crack on with the video. Right, so first off we're going to melt our chocolate and our margarine in here. You can use butter, but I'm just using margarine because obviously it's sat at room temperature. There's our chocolate. I'm using milk chocolate rather than plain uh, dark chocolate. I've got 180 grams. And we have 320 grams of margarine. I'm just going to put into the saucepan and melt it together. It is hot water in there as well, just on like a simmer, just to help it along. And then when that's melted, we'll put into our butter as well. Put away. You could always break your chocolate up into smaller pieces to help with the melting process. It will melt off a lot quicker if it was smaller. Obviously my hands are clean as well before doing this. probably better to do this before it starts to melt and it all goes in but it shouldn't take too long I'm also just going to throw a little bit of butter and margarine in there, sorry, um, at a time. Just make sure it's all melted nicely. Always keep the heat down low. Just want to melt the whole of it into in with the chocolate. Just a bit at a time. There, we're nearly there. Nearly all melted in now. Thank you. 
if not you could always use a, a little whisk just turn that off the heat I'm just going to let that cool for about five minutes. I'm just going to literally take this out of here. And just leave on the side here just to cool down for five minutes. Right, all I'm going to do is now is we're just going to use the mixer, or you can use a food processor. Is we're just going to whisk up the eggs and the sugar together. Here we've got six eggs, and we also have 450 grams of caster sugar. I'm just going to put all the eggs in. Take them out quickly. Just give them a quick little just give them a quick little whisper. <laughs> Just gonna add all of it in. And just mix it until it's all combined together. That is combined. I'm just going to go over to this little station over here. Right, just take take our mixture. I'm just going to pour it into this bowl. And pour it into there like that. And now I'm going to add into there is the chocolate as well. Also going to add into that is 
our chocolate. Just give it a mix. And I'm just going to also sieve into that is the flour and the cocoa powder. We have 125 grams of cocoa powder with 180. 180 grams of plain flour. Just going to give it a little quick little mix up in the bowl. In the sieve, should I say, sorry. Just so there's no lumps in there. And just seal it until it's all through. Right, so that's about half. I'm just going to stop and just just sieve, stir that in. Just going to just slowly stir it in. Also, when you pour your chocolate in, if there's a layer of um, obviously the fat from the marge or the butter, don't worry about it. Just give it a mix up and then pour it in. Add the rest in. Try and not get it everywhere. And just give it another mix again. So once you finish sewing it all in and gave it a good mix, next on the ingredients is we're going to add in some white chocolate, chopped 100 grams white chocolate. And we also have 
75 grams of marshmallows. Seventy five grams of marshmallows and twenty one grams of um, raisins. They're meant to be yogurt raisins, but we haven't got any, so we're just going to go with normal raisins. And so I'm just going to put them in with the marshmallows and then the white chocolate. And just give it all a nice mixing. A lot of sugar in here, so it's very good for people that like. It's got a sweet tooth. And we need to get a tin as well. It's all stuck inside now. Of my marshmallows, right there. So now, what we need is to get our tin. Here's our tin, it is a thirteen by nine. And then we're just literally gonna literally pour it into our tin now. I'm just gonna pour it out into our tin. My camera woman has finally woke up. Oh, I wasn't asleep. You shut me out. I thought uh, it needs to be done. I was meant to go up Friday, but obviously we was travelling home. So don't want no wasted, really. Um, I'll do a recipe in a minute. It like should. It, it, it should find its own way around the tin really um, that's going to go into the oven on a gas mark 3 160 celsius 140 fan um, for roughly about 25 to 30 minutes that is a preheated oven and ours isn't preheated so Ooh. probably for about half hour time for coffee um, so yeah I'm going to put that in Obviously when you put your skewer through there, it should come out dry. If it comes out a bit sticky, then just re leave it in there for a bit longer. So yeah, just gonna just put the oven on to a gas mark three. Well, I'll just move them about a bit because I don't want you having all the marshmallows. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this into, just turn it around and just put it into the oven, mid middle shelf. for about half an hour and we will see we will see what it comes out like in half an hour yeah see you soon yeah. right so it's been out of the oven now and uh, literally just out of the oven it's still hot um, it took nearly uh, an hour um, I had to put it right on the bottom because obviously the top all the marshmallows just literally burn um, but it's still fine you can see all the chocolate I should have put some flour on the chocolate because it has sort of got one side of it I'm just going to cut it into squares
Also you can cut it into size what sizes you want. I'm just trying to do it more perfect handling size, bite size. really hot still so I'll put it onto a plate and let it cool down as well just get my spatula look at that this is the bit where the burnt side which will be the bottom which is all that is is just the marshmallow. Not actually much white chocolate in this bit. That's because it sort of all went down, sunk and gone down to the other side of the pan. And here you go. Some of it obviously, the further you go where the chocolate is, it is a bit more gooey. That is still very nice to eat. I could even have this with custard. So here we go. Very nice and chocolatey, very soft and spongy. The bottom where obviously the marshmallow was is obviously really sticky and a bit chewy. Um, but yeah, it's actually really nice. So there, if you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, turn the little bell notification on so you get notified whenever we upload a video. And we'll catch you guys next time. But also, do apologise for that the video never went up at 4pm. was a slight delay on it. Um, but it'll be up. Obviously, you're watching it now. Um, so, yeah. Give it a thumbs up, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you guys next time.